Hello, before we officially get started, just want to let you know that this following reaction video contains multiple, multiple instances of flashing lights. Uh, so if you suffer from epilepsy, if you're prone to seizures or flashing lights in general, is something that bothers you, this might not be the reaction for you. Uh, if not, then enjoy the video. Hello, beats Migos and Possible Migos. My name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another reaction video and welcome to my reaction to Games Master. So, this is a channel points request by Scarl. Thank you, Scarl, for using your points on this. So, Games Master is a British television program which originally aired on Channel 4 from 92 to 90. Eight. It was the first UK television program dedicated to video games. It also, after a 23-year hiatus, returned last year and was broadcast on E4 and on YouTube. Uh, the original will see, there was originally seven series, and six of them were hosted by Dominic Diamond with Sir Patrick Moore as the games master. Uh, Trevor McDonald was the games master uh, for the new series, while the new host was who's the new host? Looks like Robert Florence. Um, so the show's format consists of a mixture of game reviews, small features, tips, and challenges. Also, I mentioned that, um, Di Diamond was host of six of these original seven series. It's because for series three, they decided to replace him with Dexter Fletcher, and that apparently was not received well to the point where Diamond just returned in series four. So... <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, just kidding. Yeah, just, we're just gonna go back on that secretly. Um, so we're gonna watch an episode of this. I have no idea from when it is from, but it's about 23 minutes. So let's go ahead and watch it. This should be fun. I used to be a video game channel after all. Not anymore, but I used to be. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh shit! Hey yo! Whoa! We're back at last, after five fallow months, welcoming you once more onto the breach, dear friends, for the best in video game entertainment. So for tonight's first challenge, let's renew our acquaintance with the great man himself. Temporary interference, master. please not just for said. Greetings. Huh. How nice <laughs> to join me once again. For this week's first challenge, I thought I'd test your nerve on Marble Madness. The object of the game I remember Marble is simply Madness. to guide the marble. Is this supposed to be happening or no? Is so this temporary interference thing legit? <laughs> And attempting to control his balls on this challenge is Mark Hawkfield. It's probably gimmick. Whoa, brother. <laughs> Not the sheep. Oof. There we go. Good lord. Are we going to Bat Cave? There's that boy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that suit. Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome to Games Master 2 The Second Coming. Each ah. week we'll be carrying challengers and other minions. It's a series 2 premiere. Converted all rig stroke holiday camp combination. Here they'll face rough seas, howling winds, and the verbose vernacular of the Games Master. There he is. 
and I'd like to take this opportunity formally to welcome you to the games wing. As you can see, I've undergone something of um, a facelift since our last encounter. You look good. Please bear with me. If to begin with, I seem a little um, disconcerted by some aspects of my new environment. Good Lord. I must say, <laughs> for my part, I'm thrilled to be back so that we can resume our little communions. Nothing beats a good grapple. So for my first challenge, I've opted for the unorthodox pugilism of Street Fighter 2. Let's go! The object of the game is to inflict terminal damage on your opponent in a best of three fight contest. The uh, dirtiest tactics tend to pay the greater dividends. This is so awesome. Lots of unseemly conduct, please. Seconds out. Well, we scoured the arcades trying to find the best two fighters on Street Fighter 2. So please welcome Henry Coleman Jr. and Peter D. They better be good. That nerd is garbage. <laughs> Welcome, Peter. Right, now, I'll turn to you first of all. Henry, I know you two have had a couple of practices together. Who's been coming out on top? Well, it's all like evenly matched, really. You can't really tell what okay. the other's going to be. Right, oh. so what character are you playing tonight? I'll be choosing E Honda. E Eddie Honda? Bad. And why is that? Because of his um, hundred hand slaps, sweeps, and um, close range to bear hug, so I can drain his energy down. Okay. okay, then. Right, Peter, who are you playing to counter Eddie Honda? I'm going to be Ken today. Okay, okay, what are we going to see from Ken see, then? See dragon punches, um, sweeps, all types of moves, slams, everything. If you'd like to take your places, we'll get ready to play. <laughs> and helping me out in the commentary box You're is... hearing that fuzzy noise in the expert, background, by the way? That's Nintendo just how the recording is. Zone. I'm Keith, sure you figured it out by now, but just in case you haven't. Thanks a lot, Dominic. Good oh, to be here. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Keith, we've got Eddie Honda against Ken. What are some of the special moves for people who perhaps don't know the game at home? Okay, E Honda has a hundred hand slap, right. um, which is a series of very fast punches. Um, Why well, I think so? It's a hundred hands. Of time. And what, what about Ken? What's he? Ken, got? Um, he has a uh, very. Um, He's got a Lakers hat. <laughs> okay, we'll look out for those. Are our two competitors ready? Yep. Then off you go. So we have Henry Coleman Jr. Oh. as Eddie Honda, the fat sumo looking bro on the left. <laughs> Peter oh, D just can. Oh, oh damn. That was the hurricane kick, kick you were talking about. At the top of the screen, oh, we can see two energy bars. Oh, Lord. When they reach the bottom, it's oh. all about the hand step there. He's oh, oh. 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 Minimum energy. Oh. Oh. So Henry Coleman Jr. is one up. Honda. This is a best of three challenge. So Peter Deitch must win this one to carry on. Oh, he oh tried dragon punch there, but he missed. There, but he was hitting empty air. Oh, lovely, like, flying punch there. And he's got another one. In the corner, stunned there. We can see Eddie Honda's energy at the top left. Uh, oh, that's good. Good shot. I know Eddie's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Am I him with the wombo combo? Eddie Honda is down on energy. No, all right. One all, boys. Good job, Laker hat. Okay, then. Let your final bout commence now. Okay, we see Sumo Fat. Oh. Punch, right punch from Ken straight off. Okay, oh. there. I think he's got the advantage. He's speed. literally punching the air. He certainly has. He's oh, very agile. That's a special move. That's a fireball. He managed to block it a little bit, but it's Another one. a bit of energy. Oh, oh he got him with that. That's it. That's it. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, he's rattled. He's got him in the death grab, brothers. Oh, what a comeback. That's right. Grab your hat, bitch. series there. Uh, let's go to you first. Peter. Fucking got him. A really good comeback there from you. You were, you were out of it in the first bout. Talk me through it. Well, when the second bout, I kept some coming in with flying knees, cyclone punches, and a couple of sweeps, and I should fin thought I'd finish him off there. Okay, then let's go to our champion, Henry Coleman Jr. Now, Henry, what on earth were you doing at the end of it? It looked very rude. Well, it's sort of like um, mm -hmm. Eddie Honda's special finishing move, a bear hug. He just basically comes up to them, grabs them, then drains their energy, and I was counting on that to, for me to be the victor. 
Okay, well, because of that splendid shake and back action, Henry, <laughs> you are the first winner of the new series of television's greatest prize. It's back, it's bold, it's the Games Master Golden Joystick. Hey! <laughs> Like a scuba diver looking motherfucker. What? It's literally a scuba diver. Round of applause for our two brilliant competitors tonight, Peter Deitch and Henry Coleman Jr. Bro, Laker had his butt hurt as hell. Look at him. <laughs> now it's time for this week's reviews. Each week we pick a theme and lump together a few games to go under the proverbial cosh. Okay. Here's this week's batch. Bro, I wish they had the show when I was a kid. I would have ate this shit up. Tonight we take your oh my god! <laughs> for a gentle jog as we look at brain games. First up on the Mega Drive, the Simpsons marketing machine drummed us along in Krusty Super Fun House. Krusty Super Fun House is a brilliant game. Is it's it? It's got a unique combination of lemmings as well as a bit of platform to do. You have to guide a load of rats into a trap, which may sound pretty dull, but because the levels are so massive, it could be going for ages. I wanted to see more levels, and I was intrigued and inspired to try and solve the levels. Although it's got very cartoon-style graphics, which you would think would aim at children. Mega Drive, oh my um, because god. Because of the size of the levels and the puzzles, it, it appealed to a very wide audience. Next, block building, clock beating, fluffy creature saving action on the Amiga, courtesy of Trodlers. Not the Amiga. Amiga. At first seemed to me to be a Lemmings ripoff with a bad control system. But after I'd played it, I realized it was exactly that. A Lemmings <laughs> ripoff with a bad control system. The puzzles look a bit nicked from Krusty's. Um, and the Trodlers just are nowhere near as cute as Lemmings. I'm, I'm sorry, they just don't work. Trottlers is a very dated game. The graphics are very 80s, and the gameplay is excruciatingly dull. Damn, he hit him with the very 80s. Now Let's go! The game section, and we open the series with the first TV shots of the most eagerly awaited sequel of all time, Sonic 2. Fuck yeah. Yes, he's back, and this time he's got a friend. The Green Hill Zone has suffered a mutant revamp, with the cheeky chappy bouncing off all kinds of angled springs and twisty walkways. In one player mode, Sonic's newfound amigo Tails will help him collect those <laughs> rings, while the split screen option allows two players That's to compete a, uh, in an so orgy awesome. of hyper fast frolics to the finish. If you thought the spring yard yes. zone was bruising, feast your eyes on Casino World. And finally, yeah. it's disappearing Sonics and Tubes Ahoy in the polluted play area of the chemical Bro, these fuckers hadn't even seen Sonic Free and Knuckles yet. They ain't even seen nothing yet. This game is unfeasibly fast and looks set to slip into the slots of Sega owners this everywhere. This game's fucking awesome. Man. A somewhat mixed bag there, but never mind, tonight's celebrity has flown out to the resort, so let's go over to Games Master to see what task he'll be facing. Alright. Hello again. It's time to don our raincoats with some gum huge apron on who shot Johnny Rock. Ooh. Tonight's challenger, turned detective, has three lives. We wish to survive shootouts in the pool hall and the casino in his attempt to foil the mafia hoodlums responsible for the death of Johnny Rock. Good luck. I'll be rooting for you. And indulging in some sharp shooting skills tonight, we are very lucky to have one of the funniest men on television. Star of the music quiz. Whose line is it anyway? S and M, and that's love. Please welcome Tony Slattery. Look at him go. Now, Tony, do you actually play video games? No, I absolutely hate them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're all the more gentlemanly of you to come on. Now, this isn't so much a video game, Tony. This is more a way of life, this game. So we'd like you to play it in the style of a prohibition private eye. Can you handle that? Of course I can. Yes, that goes without saying. Are you going to a wedding, by the way? Um, um, perhaps <laughs> afterwards. Who knows, Tony? Maybe you and I. A Vegas wedding, wedding, maybe. Wedding, maybe play your cards right. Okay, well, if you want to see if Tony plays his cards right on this game tonight, then join us after the break. You fool! This is the future. We don't do breaks here. There we go. 
Welcome back. We have Tony Slattery here tonight, and he's about to try his trigger finger out on the arcade game Johnny Rock. Now, with me also is Tim Boone, the main man from CVG Magazine. Welcome, Tim. Hello, Dominic. Now, Tim, any tips for Tony on this game? He says he doesn't like video games, so well, what advice can you give him? He's definitely going to like this one. Basically, he's looking for two clues, one from the pool hall, one from the casino. This is basically uh, Gangster Central. And what he has to do is look for these two clues by shooting everything bad and not shooting everybody good. Okay. What, it, what he's going to need for this is he's going to need uh, quick wits, mm -hmm. nerves of steel, He's going to need quite a bit of luck, and he needs to be good with the ladies. So I think he's the right man for the job. OK, then. Tony, are you ready? Yes, I am. Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> OK, then. Can you take your pistol out of your holster <laughs> and begin the game? He's like, ha-ha, fuck you. All right, I will. <laughs> I walked into a room of sharks. Say, but this is a private club. I told him I was looking for mumps. Yeah, well, I ain't looking for you. I'll store you in my cheeks to win. <laughs> oh, got him. Take care of him, boys. Okay. Keep your eyes open all times, and there he's got Oh, got him. And he's got him, though. Keep your eyes open. Don't let your guard down at all. Ah! Oh, she got a shot. Has it gone? She's, she's got him. Oh, that's the she's first of Tony's three lives gone. He's got two more lives left. He's that on the slab. Surgeon me. claims another victim. <laughs> They're going to shoot me now. Shoot. Guy oh, got him. Again. The woman. Uh, who's next? Watch. The woman again. Yes. Oh, got him. She had the gun. He got her nice time. one, Tony. And the guy at the back of the, the, the back. He's got him. Oh, dear, oh no, he dear, didn't. The he the the oh, oh, damn. Okay. okay, watch out. Go at the front. Oh, he's got him. Yeah. And here comes the woman. Okay. Woman. She's gone. Watch got it. Go at the back. Oof. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got him. Oh, rapid fire. There. Here we go. The guy at the back corner down. again. And he's got him in slow motion. Oh, yes. Now, watch the pram. Watch the pram because it's the... Oh, no. Killer dwarf from the pits of Nazi hell. But Tony dispatched him with relative ease there. And he's now onto the casino. Some very bad people in here. I showed him my 38. Okay, Brad, if you'll never leave this place and wait, you came in. There she was in the purple cape. Locked you Lil. She was the tight-lipped dame that I needed to talk to. This is very, very dangerous place. Oh, 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 he's got got down down oh shit. No, he's got to watch you. Here comes the back, the back. Yeah. Oh. yeah. He's got him. It's one down. Oh, no, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Very well here, Tim. Yeah. Very well. Shoot him. Oh, he's got him on the corner. That's the one. And shoot, shoot him. him. Oh, yes, he's yes. got him. He's, he's got a couple more. Oh, oh, shoot him. Oh, the innocent oh. victim. Damn it, Tony. Oh, we're in the undertaker. Oh, oh, zero. Oh, zero. So close and yet so far. So close. So, unfortunately, Tony's challenge tonight ends in failure. But round of applause for Tony. You fucked up, Tony. I fucked my eyes up. Well, <laughs> bad luck, Tony, but I mean, you were going so well, you only had not, uh, about one or two more people to bump off, but you bumped off the wrong person. I know. Well, I think success isn't everything. It was all these women in low cut dresses <laughs> appearing from nowhere. I mean, how am I meant to concentrate? <laughs> I completely understand. Now, unfortunately, Tony, you haven't won our special Golden Games Master joystick. But if I can patronize you for a second more and ask you, have you enjoyed yourself anyway? I think the game is absolutely brilliant, and I'm not an aficionado, but I could well become addicted to that. Okay, that's all about you. been a brilliant sport tonight. Round of applause, please, for tonight's special guest, Tony Slattery! Okay. Now, sometimes finger-pumping joystick power is not enough, and you need some help from an expert. Well, they don't come more intergalactic than ours, so let's take a trip to Games Master's Consultation Zone. All right, bet. Master. Welcome to my consultation area, up here on the helipad. How can I help you? I can't find the Blue Switch Palace in Super Mario World. Can oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, that old chestnut. The Blue Switch Let's Palace go. can only be reached from Forest of Illusion 2. There's a deceptively placed illusion wall toward the end of the level. Simply walk straight through it. Yep. Bing, 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 bing. Thank you very much. Bing, bing, bing. That's quite all right. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. Hello, and just what is your particular problem? Can you please tell me how I could beat my friends at Game Boy Tennis? Practice <laughs> the game, young man. Failing that, you can always cheat. When it's your service game, throw the ball high, but instead of striking it truly, step beneath it. 
If the ball ah. lands on your head, you'll have won the point without raising a sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Not terribly sporting. Wow. Hugely effective, I can assure you. Thanks, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Who's last for the evening? Hi, Games Master. Well, we got the same haircut. Tell me if there are any special bonus areas on Zool. Oh, I'm rather pleased you asked this one. The zoo actually includes a special Games Master secret room full of goodies for your consumption. The room is located oh on the third level of the sweet world. Simply walk straight into the first right hand wall that you come across, then you will be the reward. Wow, look at that. Thanks a lot. That's all for tonight's symposium. See you along. Peace, Army. Some golden bonding moments there, but time is drawing on, and we must slot in our final challenge. So right. it's back to Games Master. Finally, for the night, I've opted for an arcade game, which I Bad. think will tickle your fancy. It's called Dragon's Lair 2. And I'd like you to complete the first level of the game and reach the time machine without losing a life. Do Let's watch out go. For my mother in law, an overweight old Hannibal who would like nothing more than to spot you with her rolling pin. I guarantee the actual will be fast and furious, so brace yourselves for a picaresque adventure. And taking a magical skip down fantasy lane on this challenge is one of the best arcade players we've ever seen. So please welcome from Portsmouth, Dougie Johns. We do be running. Don't fuck it up, Dougie. Now, Dougie, we've seen you in action. We know you want Dougie to looks coked up, bro. This game is very tough. Can you do it? Well, yeah. I think with my superbly home, home games playing skills, I should be able to walk it. <laughs> okay, we've got a very plucky competitor there. If you'd like to step out to the game, Doug, we'll get ready to play. And back for yet more punishment at my side is Tim Boone from CVG. Welcome back, Tim. Welcome. Hello, Dominic. Now, Tim, we know this guy's a good player, but this is one of the most difficult arcade games, isn't it? I would actually say this is probably the most difficult arcade game I've ever seen. Oh, okay, wow. so what Dougie has to do is escape from the treasure room while avoiding Daphne's mother-in-law. He only has one life to do it, so it's going to be very, very tough. Are you ready, Doug? Yep. Then off you go. Okay, so off goes Doug. He's approaching the castle. He's got to look out oh, for the flashes. Watch out for mother-in-law. Here she comes. Oh, oh she's a big girl, Tim. Out the door as fast as you can, because you don't want to mess with her. She's and now watch your horse, happy. and away you go. Bruh. I like I would have been following me. <laughs> now then, keep, keep her off your back as long as you can, and down off your horse, into the castle, I would, and she's trapped. I would want her on my back any time. Oh, Lord. Watch the snake again. I must go down the chasm, but avoiding the spider. Oh, the spider. Oh, no, the spider. Man. Got him. Oh shit. Grab the key. Grab the snake first. Now grab the key. Oh, he's been very well so far. Brilliant game. He's been fantastic. Okay, he's going to get out of here. Onto the cup. Watch the snake. Bruh. Watch the snake. Oh, no, he's going to the snake. Watch the snake. Watch the snake. Watch the snake. Watch the snake. Oh, no. Oh, got him. He's gone. Dog strangled by the snake and his challenge has ended in... Failure. You fucked it up. Applause for Doug, everyone. Boom. <laughs> That's supreme gaming skills. Thank you. Now, Douglas, what happened? We knew. We, we've seen you before. You're a brilliant player, but it's a very tough game, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. The Don Blues games are you have know, to right on there. Split second decisions and. Pressure was on and just missed one move. Okay, well, you've given me personally a lot of pleasure today, Doug. So, whoa, let's have a round of chill. Challenge of Doug Jones. <laughs> well, that's it for this week. Join us in seven days when we'll have ah, Frank Bruno taking on arcade champion Paul Turner at Sonic Blastman. Oh. Well, that just whips up my appetite for the catfish and almond bake that's on the menu tonight. So we're off to have a little bit of that, and we'll see you next week. Good night. Peace, Tommy.
That was sweet, other than the epilepsy warnings I'm about to put on it. I would have ate that shit up as a kid. Like, seriously, I, I wish we had... I wish we had that. That was so awesome. Like, that, that was so cool seeing, like, an initial promo for Sonic 2. Like, it wasn't even out yet. An initial Sonic 2 promo. Like, that's awesome. That alone was fucking epic. Like, that alone made the whole episode for me. An initial Sonic 2 promo. That's fucking crazy. Well, that was a lot of fun. I mean, obviously, I love video games. And I used to be a video game channel, as I said. So, that's right up my alley. A lot of flashing lights on that one, though. I, I put the epilepsy warning at the beginning of the video. And I'll be putting it in the pinned comment in the description as well. Because, especially that one part. Dear God, it hurt my eyes a little bit. So, yeah. Uh, but... That is going to do it for my reaction to Games Master. Thank you, Scar, for using your points on that. And that's it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave it a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I scream every single day, my second channel for recent reviews, my Twitter. If you want to follow me, my Patreon. If you want to support me on my daily motion, all those things are in the video description down below. Thank you to all of my Patreons who can't support me on my channel, uh, currently named in the description. Uh, for those of you who know, you can be Patreon on me for as low as $1 or £1. Pound, and you, act, you get access to reaction videos. Those are in your comments up to date early. And you get your name in the video description as well. Also in the video description is a link to the community rate, as well as the daily schedule, as well as the Twitch files channel. For that being said, though, my name is Taffrey Steen. This has been my reaction to Games Master, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.